you all might remember the mostly peaceful protests a few months ago that the BBC so gleefully reported as peaceful despite every bit of video evidence showing the complete opposite. Obviously, we expect nothing less from the BBC, but during these mostly peaceful protests, we also had mostly peaceful vandals attacking statues like the Winston Churchill one outside Parliament. Sadiq Khan, the useless tosspot Mayor of London, allowed this to happen back then, and it appears he allowed it to happen again. This time, it was the XR lunatics who did it, while a group of them chained themselves to Parliament's fence with their chesticles out because I guess that somehow helps their protest. Obviously, logic is not their strong suit, but this has to be one of the dumber things you will see from these snivelling shit weasels. Now as you can see, the police actually dealt with them as they did the low-life tosspot who defaced the statue, but not quick enough obviously. A question also needs to be asked about how they was allowed to do it in the first place and how many of them are going to get £10,000 fines. My bet is absolutely none of them. The mail picked up on this shit show though with the headline, Winston Churchill statue is defaced with graffiti calling him a racist at Extinction Rebellion demo outside Parliament as police look on before arresting vandals. And like I said, birds with their chesticles out. Extinction Rebellion vandals today defaced the statue of Winston Churchill in Parliament Square by spray painting the words is a racist on the base of the monument because these dim-witted losers have never had an original idea in their life. The World War II Prime Minister's statue was vandalised again today, months after the monument was defaced by two Black Lives Matter protesters using the same words in June. XR protesters said they saw a young kid fleeing from the statue moments before being arrested by police. In other words, they saw one of their mates running away from the statue before he got nicked. The Metropolitan Police confirmed a man had been arrested on suspicion of causing criminal damage to the statue on Thursday evening, which could possibly be this picture we have on the screen here, but I don't actually know if it's him, possibly it is, who knows. At the same location earlier this afternoon, police arrested at least 13 topless female XR protesters who chained themselves to the railing surrounding Parliament with bike locks in a bid to expose what they called the bare truth about the climate crisis, when in fact all they did was give the dirty old men in Parliament a bit of a boner for a couple of hours before the old bill arrested them, and I expect the workers on their lunch break had a decent little gander as they walked past. I wonder how many people shouted, get your tits out for the lads, I expect there was a couple. A group of protesters this evening also chained themselves to a pink boat dubbed with the words tell the truth just outside Parliament. Well, Parliament doesn't do that, we already know this. They were part of a larger group from the XR campaign which have used attention grabbing techniques to highlight the threat to the planet. No, they have used stupid techniques that make them all look like idiots and give me the opportunity to make videos taking the piss out of them. On the women that was chained up outside with their chesticles out, officers removed the D-locks from round their necks and took the women to police stations in four separate vans as supporters cheered the protesters on from Parliament Square. The Met said they have arrested 648 people while policing the protests in London since the beginning of the month. At times, XR has won wider backing from the public as they marched on cities across the UK, including grinding parts of London to a halt in protest, which obviously contradicts what they have just said there. Whenever they do this shit, people fucking hate them. They are not bringing anyone onto their side. This is just a fringe bunch of lunatics that no one gives a shit about. The government, for some reason, allows them to get away with doing this crap, though. One person who is not a fan is Home Secretary Preeti Patel, who has described the activists as so-called eco-crusaders turned criminals, as she pledged to prevent anarchy on our streets. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it, considering all the talk we have heard from pretty pissed poor Patel and the very little action that has actually come out of her. Prime Minister Boris Johnson also criticised completely unacceptable action in which ex our protesters blocked the delivery of some of the UK's major newspapers, which I actually covered at the time and are doing a hell of a lot worse than that, you useless tosspot. And that is the end of the article there. So once again, Sadiq Khan has failed in his job to look after London and of course its historic monuments. Why does that not surprise me? I do find it rather funny that they had a group of women outside there chaining themselves to the fence half naked. I'm still struggling to figure out how that helps their cause, but I guess whatever floats your boat. It does make me laugh though where the XR protesters claim that they see a kid running away from it, but when the police give a statement on the matter, they actually say it was a man, meaning one of the XR protesters, they were just talking a bag of shit as usual. Now, I really do wonder if any serious fines were dished out. We didn't hear anything about it in this article here, so I am betting that none were. I guess their cause is virtuous enough that it doesn't matter. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors.
slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.